Here we go guys, today in the base of what I read in your messages and the base of your records I'm going to talk again about conciliar curry and I'm going to talk about uh, one of the options uh, I mean the appendix curry uh, that uh, by the way is uh, uh, one of my choice uh, usually I work in appendix curry or a side curry uh, just for recap some important points about conciliate curry. First of all, every time uh, we need to work in conciliate curry, we need to dress something that is uh, uh, appropriate for that kind of task. We need to dress something that is appropriate also for the waiter. Because if I am going on summertime or in a very hot environment with a jacket, I bring the attention on me. If I will work with a t-shirt in a cold environment, I bring again attention on me. Because probably all the people dress a jacket and the only one with a t-shirt. But uh, every time uh, I need to work in considered curry, I need to choose and to uh, study which kind of clothes I can dress for have uh, the proper uh, the proper clothes uh, for the environment and the proper clothes for uh, arrive fast and easier to the gun. Now, uh, I shown you uh, on the last video we talked about concealer carry with the jacket. Okay, and a lot of people ask me, hey Zero, can you show us uh, how we can work with a lighter clothes? Uh, perfect. Today we are going to work, even if it's just a little bit uh, cold here, we are going to work in a, uh, with a t-shirt. I'm going to put my jacket to the, to the target. And we are going to work in t-shirt, jeans, so very light clothes. So, uh, remember that there are a lot of options for uh, concealed curry. We can work in appendix curry, side curry, uh, five o'clock, back curry, crossover, so there are many options. Every option have pros and cons. Uh, we need to choose our option in the base of what we can dress, in the base of which kind of platform we have, I mean the measures of the platform, or uh, we can choose uh, our option in the base of uh, which is which could be our task so uh, I prefer to work usually in appendix curry or inside curry because in bold position especially in appendix curry uh, I have the gun always on under my full control because I can uh, defend, the, defend the gun uh, with my arms with my uh, my legs with my body better than on the back better on the five o'clock better than in crossover uh, and this is very important for me, you know. Even in uh, in the side, I can have uh, a good point for uh, defend my gun uh, with my arms, legs, and body. But the difference is, especially when we work in uh, very light clothes, as a T-shirt, for example, like this, uh, the problem could be when I'm going to flex my body. It's very easy, and after I'm going to show you in the next video, it's very easy to see the form uh, of the gun, and this is something that we don't need to do. Uh, if we decide or if we need, especially if we need to work with the inconciliate curry, this means that we need to hide our gun very well. So if uh, uh, we work in considered curry, we need to consider that working in considered curry is not something, it's not a, a simple job, it's not a simple option, it's uh, really a lifestyle. You need to, to remember that you need to have the proper education and the proper train, uh, training for work in, a, uh, in concealed curry. Uh, a lot of time I saw a lot of uh, uh, my colleagues or a lot of professionals, uh, PSD, law enforcement, um, that make a lot of uh, a lot of mistakes for example when they exit from the car uh, the bad habit is to adjust the holster to adjust the weapon to keep out the weapon to touch the body 
and this again bring on us the attention if someone look to you can understand that you uh, you carry a gun that you need the, uh, you have the gun under your clothes and this is something that we don't want uh, so uh, this is a very important as is important that it's not you can choose uh, happen this carry side carry or one of the other options but you need to be sure that after you're going to train exactly for uh, in that option for build your mechanical memory in that option because it's very important under stress you know one point is that you are going to on the range uh, relax you use uh, uh, your you train yourself uh, for engage the target uh, and you enjoy that time another point is to be on the road on the street in a crowded environment something happened under stress and you need to use your gun for defend yourself or for your job or for defend something someone else there uh, if you uh, if you uh, have not a good mechanical uh, memory if you're if you didn't build a proper mechanical memory uh, you can have the proper reaction and remember uh, action is almost time faster than reaction and everyone working the proper side of the line start on reaction almost time so we need to be fast we need to be efficient on the target we need to be sure in what we do Let's talk about this option, conceal, uh, concealed curry, appendix curry. First of all, I'm going to show you the gun is no mag inside, fake barrel on the gun, so the gun is safe and clean. Now, I'm going to show you three different options for uh, grip, uh, in this case uh, a t-shirt for grip, the clothes, uh, and arrive uh, to the gun for half the engage. Option one natural option you see this is the form of our uh, hand and this is the stronger finger that we have in the uh, in our hands so uh, what we are going to do is very simple we are going to a natural movement usually when we work in appendix curry or normally we can stay with uh, our arms uh, on the side or a little bit on the front, on the leg or on the, on the flanker. But what is important is that as soon we need to grip the t-shirt and go and arrive to the gun, we can do this movement. You see, it's very natural, it's very easy. I'm going to insert my thumb finger and the t-shirt is going in a natural position of my hand. I just need to make to put a little bit uh, force on my uh, on my thumb finger for keep out and here I arrive soon to the gun so option one again I show you I'm going I can work I can insert my finger you see very easy and the same time I'm going to uh, grip the gun and come out now I'm going to show you and after I'm going to show you in live fire this kind of option so again option one Insert your fingers, low motion, keep out your uh, t-shirt and arrive to the gun. This is a natural position. We start to enter in the appendix uh, area near between the, our, uh, our leg. In this point, it's easier to insert our thumb finger. And then 45 degree and uh, take out the t-shirt straight to the gun. Point nine eight. Point nine seven. Option two. We start in the same way, same process. So I insert my I insert my thumb finger, but this time I'm going to uh, help my thumb finger with the other's four fingers. Why? I use this option when I dress something that is heavier than a simple t-shirt. Uh, when I dress something that can have an elastic band, like a hoodie for example, or uh, some clothes that are, are heavier than a simple t-shirt. So, in this case, I start with the thumb finger, then I pass on the forefinger. Again, 
start with the thumb finger, pass with the forefinger, and then gun. Again, thumb finger, pass the t-shirt, up, gun. Your, what is important is the head need to remain on the higher, on the target, on uh, the head and the eyes. Uh, uh, they, they need to be on your environment and not on your holster. Never put your head down, never lost the control of the area. Okay, now option two. Remember, thumb finger, four finger. So, option three. Uh, the third option is, again, I use the third option when I need to, um, when I dress something very heavy, very strong, uh, not soft like a t-shirt, and require me uh, more force to keep out uh, the clothes. And it's important also that, remember, we need to be sure in our grip. So, if we dress something that is not uh, uh, so comfortable for grip just with the thumb finger, use the third option soon. So this means that we use what we call for brothers. We use the four fingers for grip the t-shirt up and go. Even if, if it's a hoodie, it's the same process, pullover, hoodie, or heavier, uh, heavier uh, clothes is the same. Uh, I saw a lot of time uh, different instructors that uh, prefer another way. I mean that they prefer to use the strong hand and keep out and going straight to the gun. I'm not agreeing this kind of uh, philosophy because I prefer to discharge the work uh, uh, on my strong hand and to give uh, to my strong hand the only task to grip the gun and exit for engage. And I want to give the task to my support hand, to my guard hand, to grip the clothes and uh, open the way, to lead the way for, uh, for the strong hand uh, to arrive uh, and grip the weapon. This is my opinion, and these are the three choices that I can have in concealed curry, in appendix curry, uh, with this kind of profile, with a simple t-shirt. Uh, remember, now I'm going to put again my jacket, that when I work, I can work with a t-shirt in appendix curry, concealed curry, but I, maybe the weather is not good or it's cold, and I can use a jacket up to my uh, to my t-shirt remember the point of the attention that I explained it to you before so in this case uh, it's I am for sure I'm slower because the way is longer uh, for arrive to the weapon I mean that I need to open a little bit my jacket or arrive soon to to the gun take keep out the t-shirt and arrive sorry to the gun so, this is important that uh, when we work, uh, if I have my jacket zipped, uh, for me it's a little bit a mistake. I know that if I work in concealed curry, I know that I need to work almost time with my jacket open. So I need to dress something under my jacket that uh, give me the proper uh, warm uh, outside, even in a cold environment. So, uh, if I have, remember another big point, I, uh, when we dress a jacket that have a ring of uh, cord, uh, of rope like this, for example, uh, keep attention when you have, uh, when it's uh, in the uh, below part of the jacket, because uh, it's possible that when you exit with a gun, especially in a side carry, your gun is going inside your uh, the ring, and this is very dangerous. So, 
when I work with the jacket, I need to remember that I use for sure the third option, the four brothers. I can go straight to the to the t-shirt. I open my t-shirt and go straight without keep out the jacket. You know, it depends. Or if I have my hand on the pocket, it's uh, it's easier. You know, because here I pass from my pocket to the t-shirt very fast. Bam, and here to the weapon. So. Uh, what for a lot of people could be a relaxed position, I show you without jacket because it's clear. When for a lot of people this could be a, a really a relaxed position, uh, keep attention because here is not a relaxed position if I carry an appendix curry again, because here I can be very fast to engage because my hands are already in the proper position here I can come out very fast here we go so let's try all of these uh, three options of live fire and we are going to work with timer uh, for have the good parameter Y97 Set. Point nine one. Set. One point oh two. Point nine seven on the grind. Set. Set. Point eight four. 